Uh, we're going to go over setting the float height in the bowl of the Briggs & Stratton spec racing carburetor. It's something that should be done before tuning and we got a new one here so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So the bowl comes off the carb with two screws, little, little screws, I already have it off. Okay, there's a gasket in here, an O-ring, that may be sticking on here. Just be careful not to rip it. Sometimes they can get flat if they've been installed for quite a while. This is a new carburetor, so it's not. Uh, you, know, you can get replacements. So here's a brand spanking new carburetor. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is set the float height in the bowl. So when it lets fuel in, uh, and it gets to a certain level, it shuts it off. That's it. There's just a needle in here that does that. These are handy dandy little tools for setting. Um, they're marked and you can just place them over, slide it over, check it, get it set to whatever you want. Uh, these tools are cool. There's adjustable ones as well. Uh, these ones don't go to the level that we've been using on the green slide restricted classes. We go significantly over the 875. How you do this, uh, if you don't have, have these or the adjustable one, uh, use calipers. So I use these calipers. So what you do is you pop this down and make sure it just barely touches right there. And then you measure the highest, the highest part of the float with the carb upside down. Okay. So this one, a little higher than what we want. And then we check the other side to make sure it is also the same. And this one's almost where we want it. You wanna make these even, and that's why this is nice, because you just go across and make sure they're even. In this case, I'm gonna tweak it just a touch. Normally, if you're adjusting it a lot, it's gonna be right here on this tab here, this tang, okay? You'll bend it up or you'll bend it down, depending on which way you wanna move this. There's another tang right here. This controls the total drop of the float. So how far it'll go down. Okay. So there's two. So there's the float height here and the float drop here. Once you get it set and even on both sides, That one is low. That one is high. So we just tweak it. You do want to have them even. It can take a little bit. Anyways, once you get it set, then you're gonna check the drop, but the drop isn't too important, and here's why. Um, let's say you have this set at 900, and you want the drop of 3 sixteenths of an inch. Um, so it'll be 900 on the caliper, right? Plus, well, there's, there's an eighth, there's another eighth. Okay, let's just say you want, you want a quarter. So, otherwise we can go back. I guess 3 16 is fine, right there. Okay, so here's the bowl and the depth of, of that drop is below the bottom of the bowl. So, this little tab, the drop doesn't really come into play when these things are, these things just sit on the bottom of the, uh, of the bowl but get your float height correct. So the float height affects uh, 
it's a, it's a lean and an enrichment um, measurement or uh, adjustment, excuse me, much like the, the jet. So there's different jets, but there's, you can't go too big. So if you've got, if you need a lot more fuel, you're going to set your, and you can't go bigger on the jet, you're going to set your float height really low. Um, in, the, in our case, we got plenty of jet and we have plenty of needle range to adjust. So we're going to set the float pretty low to kind of lean it out up top and make a little bit more going down the top of the straightaways. Uh, once you get that done, you can just check these, make sure they're nice and tight, button everything back up and uh, start tuning.